Hello, today I'm going to be going over the Red Sea Foundation test kits. If you'd like to jump to these points in the video, you can see the corresponding test. Hello and welcome to Sabina Reefing, where we go over product reviews and how-tos, livestock care and selection, maintenance and how-to videos. Okay, for the first test, we're going to start off with the alkalinity. They have these nice little laminated cards, which have a nice feel to them. So you're going to need one labeled alkalinity. I labeled the back of all my syringes so I know which syringe to reuse. So this one's alkalinity, this is alkalinity, here is the test vial. I like to rinse the vials with RODI. It's just RODI out of my system. It's not super critical you do this, but I've just always done it this exact same way, so I'm gonna to continue to do it so that my tests are all done the same way. Got 10 mils of water. You'll notice there's some bubbles here at the top. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Don't worry about those. It's basically the volume of the end of the syringe that you're not using anyways. So squeeze it in. This is definitely one of the easier tests. Can I get one most fluid? Kind of did that a little too fast. One mil. And I do not use the testers that come with the kits. I find it just easier to slowly drip it in. You can see them to a nice shade of blue. And we're looking for a green color to let me know that the test is done. So I just keep dropping as I shake in the water. See it's changed into a color of green. And I usually add one more drop just to see that it's done. And it'll change into a color of yellow as shown on the card. So right now it's still pretty much green. Add one more drop, noting where I was. And now it's yellow. So this means I've gone too far. So that last measurement I had, which was 0.2, is correct. If you look at the other side, they did not do the math for you, so you have to know one minus 0.2 equals 0.8. So that equals a DKH of 11.2. I like to note this in my Neptune Apex app and save it so that I have a nice little trending graph. You can see that my alkalinity usually runs fairly high, but I've never really considered it a problem. Next up we have calcium. So I'm gonna set aside all of those so that they're not in my way for doing the calcium. Got my calcium card. reagent, my vial labeled calcium, and for this one we're only going to need five milliliters of water. Five mils of water. Five drops of reagent A. When I'm doing the droppers they're not super easy to squeeze and I find I get a more consistent drop if I actually let the air back into them. So after I press each time, I release. Three. Much 
much like the alkalinity, you're going to get exactly one milliliter of reagent. You're going to be counting the amount you use, not the amount that's left. If you have some of the old Salford test kits, you can reuse their syringes, which actually measure how much is left instead of how much you've used. This one slowly transitions so you can see kind of a purple color. I am not complete yet. It will turn a nice blue color. So that is still not done. There. That is complete. One more drop just to make sure. So I had 0.72, which comes out to a calcium of 360. You can look on the back of the card. Last and frankly least important in my opinion is the magnesium. I, for the most part, don't test magnesium. I've never seen a big issue with magnesium. It doesn't seem to get depleted very quickly and I've never dosed it. So I know a lot of people do care about magnesium and want to know how to do it. And I have done it a few times. You can see on the graph. Two mils of water. Five drops, non-consecutively. So you're gonna put in one. Wait 15 seconds. And one moment later. Five drops of part B. These ones can be consecutive. And more drops. It says to replace the lid and shake for 60 seconds. One minute tick tock, tick tock. Exact same as the other two tests, we're using one milliliter to titrate. Drip, drip, drip. 0.25, which turns into 7.5, which is 1500. Leave that for the thumbnail. Time for a new box. Last but not neat least is the nitrate test. So this is NO3, not NO2. Um, I pretty much do not test nitrite. I test nitrate only. Five milliliters of water to start. Five drops. Shake for 60 seconds after adding reagent B. One more minute. Don't forget to add one scoop of reagent. And hey, look, my ventriloquism is getting really good. So after reagent C, you're supposed to wait. 10 minutes or nine minutes. So I'm going to use my watch and set a timer right now. Not very fast, but it's done. And I still got three minutes to kill. Get you a nice little picture here of what the color looks like. Always look down through it when you're trying to figure out how many parts per million you have. Um, I've never had this test lighter than this, so I'm either at zero or one and I can't tell. Thank you for watching. I have two more episodes over here of what Google thinks you like and my latest episode. If you want to see a playlist with more maintenance, it's right there.